thinking back as I can to the establishment of arts access, the fact that the organisation continues to exist and indeed flourish is due to a number of things and the hard work and dedication of very many people. It began with the foresight and determination of Penny Eames. Had it not been for Penny and her commitment to the need for an organisation such as Arts Access, we would probably not be celebrating 20 years of such great achievement. Penny brought her knowledge of the sectors that Arts Access has committed itself to, along with the development of a philosophy to promote and achieve that need. I recognise the work of the trustees who aided me during my time as chair following the establishment of Arts Access. Over these 20 years, there have been a number of chairs and trustees who have all given their time, which I am grateful for. The organisation has developed and matured with their input and their great skill. Arts Access has been most fortunate over the years to have had directors and staff who have been committed to the work. They have been innovative, dedicated and determined to follow the philosophy and objectives of the organisation and to develop, move with the times and most importantly mature with it. No matter the quality of the organisation, little if anything can be achieved if there do not exist people or other organisations sympathetic to the objectives and are prepared to provide financial support. In saying this, I must recognise Creative New Zealand as a very long-term partner, indeed the whole of the 20 years. Creative New Zealand, the Arts Council, we're delighted to have been part of the journey so far. We've got high hopes for the future and the great work that Arts Access does to support those who without them wouldn't have so much access to the arts. Kia kaha. My particular interest is in prisoner arts and I'm sitting here in fact in front of this beautiful painting from Northland Prison. But you know what, it's not about what we think of the art that comes out of the prison system. It's not about judgement, it's not about product, it's actually about process. It doesn't matter whether it's drama, whether it is music, whether it's Māori performing arts, whether it's Pacific Island performing arts, whether it is sculpture, whether it is painting. Any engagement in the arts helps people deal with the situation that they're in and helps them move on to the next stage in their life. And that's something that Arts Access Aotearoa has been enormously successful at over its lifetime. Congratulations. And the treasure lies at nothing. The cynics really care. The comics, they cried everything. of the arts and creativity on people's lives is so immense that we don't have enough creativity in the world. I'm an artist and a consumer of art and in, in both capacities, um, ever since arts access has been around, things in this country for the arts have really improved. Because I think disabled people want to share in the beauty of this world and also help create beauty in the world and I think these awards really support that. I am proud to have been associated with the Trust and continue to admire and applaud its achievements. Ka kite anō. I hope you enjoy the celebratory occasion.